Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Uh, I just want to make a quick video on how to set up a Google My Business page. Uh, so if you're a you know brick and mortar company or really any business in general, uh, Google My Business page is definitely important to have and uh, there's a lot of ways to set it up. Uh, one way to set it up, but there's a lot of different tips and tricks that you could do to really optimize your profile. Um, I spent the last few months you know, really setting our page up and, and reading um, articles, taking uh, seminars, asking people, and really trying to figure out the best way to optimize our Google My Business page. So I'll go through some some things that we've learned. And if you're a business owner or um, have your own brand, uh, this would be great for you. And if you have any questions, let me know. But I figured this would help somebody um, so help somebody out and you know cut your your learning curve in half. And uh, we have gotten asked a couple times lately on you know how we set up our page or how to do it. So I wanted to make a quick video for you. So you'll go to google.com forward slash business. And so you'll sign into your Google account or you'll create one. And uh, then what you'll do is you'll click next and you'll really go through the steps. So, you know, you'll sign up your business and, you know, with your email, uh, if you have a domain, you'll kind of fill out all your information. You'll enter your business address. Uh, you can put a, uh, you maybe also be out, be asked to position a marker on the location of your chain, you know, or your business in, in the map. Uh, you'll go through and you'll decide if you want it to be shown on Google Maps, which I definitely recommend. Um, that way people can, can find you and, and click directions and, you know, find out your location to your, your business. Uh, you'll, you'll select a, a business category. So us being an insurance, obviously we're an insurance agency, um, insurance broker, and that's the category we selected. So You'll enter your phone number, email, um, verification. I always recommend verifying it uh, right away. So the verification process on your Google My Business page, it is kind of confusing, but you'll actually get sent a letter that has a code on it, and that is how you will verify your Google My Business page. And so going through, you know, it makes it look like uh, you could get a text message or an email or, you know, some other way to verify it, but you will actually get a, a postcard in the mail and you know five to seven business days or however long it takes and that's how you verify your google my business page so make sure you do verify it that way you can um you know google sees that it is it is your business and when people and customers visit it and you ask them to leave reviews um it is verified and it helps your seo rank so um again this is where you'll you'll go for your uh, google my business page just google uh, like i said google.com forward slash business it'll look like this you can go sign in and then if you don't have an email or an account, you know, you can click here and uh, create an account for myself or to manage my business. Then you'll just go through and enter all your information and, and follow the steps accordingly. So once you do set it up and go through, this is what your dashboard will look like here. So um, like I said, I spent yeah hun hundreds of hours learning, you know, Google and Facebook and YouTube and really trying to get our SEO presence and our online presence, um, really trying to optimize that. So these are just some things that I've learned. Um, so when you come here to your dashboard, you obviously have your uh, page of what it looks like, has some different recommendations. You, know, you can create a Google ad from here, all your reviews. Uh, but I'll start here with the post section. So with posts on Google My Business, it stays there for seven days. And then from there, it, it falls off. So it's not like Facebook or other um, social media platforms where it stays on there for forever. Um, it'll stay on there for a, a certain amount of time. But it is good to post here because you can put in here what's called keywords. So this post I did here today is about home insurance. So I put in home insurance in the description as, you know, if someone goes in and types in home insurance to Google, uh, Google will crawl to find a trusted source of who they should recommend to get home insurance through, right? And that's part of showing up on the first page of Google. And that's just one factor. So um, I put that there and I uh, list some information. You can call now and I'll, I always put our website. And I also always put insurance agency in Spokane, Washington. I'll explain why I do that here in, in a minute and um, how we, um, you know, the descriptions and keywords that we put in there. So as you can see other posts here, if, you know, car insurance, brand, just always trying to be creative and, and post stuff on Google. And um, also try and post a lot of things on YouTube as well as Google owns YouTube. So uh, we can take all our YouTube videos and actually embed them into our website also. So that way our um, you know, SEO starts to, to get higher and eventually you want to show up on the first page of Google is, is the goal for any business. Uh, so when you go to the info tab, this right here, you obviously choose a name. Uh, but on this part right here, you'll be able to choose more than one category. And so I always, we chose multiple just because people are always looking for, uh, you know, they're looking for other services or other ways to find you, right? So not everyone's going to type in insurance agency or insurance broker, financial planner. You know, since we offer multiple services, you know, you'll come in here and you can add multiple and you start typing one in because uh, you, know, you can have, what is it? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think it's ten that you can have at the max. But you start typing a service in, and um, a recommendation will pop up, and you'll choose that one. I always recommend choosing multiple. Uh, so if you're a real estate agent, for example, 
you might go real estate agent, real estate broker, realty, um, investment properties, you know, whatever you specialize in and sell, that's what you want to put in there. Even in your name here, in your description, put in keywords there, you know, real estate, real estate broker, insurance, financial, uh, things that you offer. Um, an important aspect here about your address is you want to make sure that this is congruent and consistent across all your platforms. So as you'll see here, W is for West. If you spell out West, W-E-S-T, make sure you spell it out on Facebook, um, YouTube, wherever else you have your address. You want to make everything the same. So if you look at all our platforms, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and all our other channels, we have it just like this with the W and the S-T-E dot B-8 and then our address. So service areas here, you can add the service areas that you help. So we're in multiple states, so really the whole Pacific Northwest. So we added in all of Washington, Idaho, Oregon, California, Montana. We actually can even go Arizona. As we work in Arizona as well. So if you go Arizona, USA, apply, it'll go through here and save it. And then boom, now you have all these services and then it'll be under review with Google. Um, and then, you know, they usually approve that. And so you go through here, obviously the times, you want to make sure those are consistent on you know, Facebook, your website and look just like this as well. Uh, any special days that you're closed, phone number. Uh, this is the abbreviation of how somebody could find you that you want to you know, abbreviate KBG Insurance and Financial as. This is just our website address, so KBG Agency. This right here on your website. Always make sure you add in the HTTPS and where whatever else your website may be, not just the www. You know your domain name or just your domain name. com. Make sure you add in the whole part here. Um, URL links, appointment links. You can add in a Calendly link if you have that. It's actually something I just signed up for that I'll add in there. Um, products or services. If you're an e-commerce store, or, you know you sell coffee or you know shirts or clothes, you can put the products you sell here. So services, we listed out all services that we offer and really try to optimize our Google profile. So if Google says, you know, you can list 20 services, you know, find out how to figure, figure out how to list 20 services that is just going to help your, your presence that much more. Um, so for the description, you have five or 750 keywords that you can put into the description. Make sure you use all of them. Um, it's something that we, we do and make sure it's uh, keyword rich, so to speak. So we're an insurance agency in Spokane, Washington, right? So we made sure that we put in insurance agency a couple times and also listed our um, services in the description part. And then also when you open as well. So um, one quick thing on reviews. So on reviews, we reply to every review. And on, on, on your review, something that we've done that has uh, really started to help us is we reply to the services that we help that customer with. So. Uh, Stephanie Webb, for example, if we helped her with auto and renter's insurance, we put in there and said, hey, you know, thank you for being your insurance agent. We appreciate the opportunity to help you. Looking forward to taking care of you and um, servicing your auto and home insurance, right? And so really making those keywords stand out in there and also replying and, and thanking your customer for the time to do it. You know, they took a few minutes out of their day to leave your review and it's nice to respond to those. So photos, uh, one last thing here really quick. Uh, we, we always add photos. I try and do one a day. Uh, and the way I add photos is there's different ones you can add. But when I add a photo, I'll go to what's called the Geotag, GeoImager Pro. So you can go to tool.geoimgr.com. And the reason for this is you want to capture your coordinates of your photo, right? It just helps your SEO presence that much more. So if you go here, you'll click Upload Photo. Come down, and then you'll choose a photo here. So if you choose this one, open it here. It'll open down below. And once it uploads, you'll see a pin drop here. And then you can come up here, and you can type in your address. And as soon as you type in your address, you'll come down here as soon as it loads here. Get this up there. Perfect. So see how that loaded? I always put in the image description. So if it's, you know, we're talking about auto insurance, home insurance, you always put in the, the description there, put in our business name right there. And then I always end it with insurance agency in Spokane, Washington. So having a description in your photos definitely helps as well. Then you'll click write EXIF tags. Boom, then you download it. And those are the pictures that we post to Facebook, you know, Google My Business, and all our other outlets. So uh, just a quick tutorial here on how to set up a Google My Business page and you know, a couple other tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that are really starting to help us. Um, one other thing actually as well is uh, this is what right here is what's called the snack pack. So one thing about reviews is it doesn't necessarily, uh, for what I found from research anyway, help your SEO rank. But what it does is it really makes you stand out above other businesses. So if you come in here and you click type in insurance agency the top right here are paid ads so you got geico and all these big companies so state farm you know agent insurance agents directory where they're selling leads 
this they pay a lot of money to be in right here. So organically over time, with all these other tips and tricks and posting to YouTube and geotagging your photos, getting reviews, it'll help you eventually rank higher in this page. So this right here is called the snack pack. And so in regards to reviews, if you were to come in here and type in insurance agency, say you're looking for a new agent, what are the chances of you clicking the bottom one here versus clicking us, right? Because you're gonna come in here and say, oh, 55 reviews, four reviews, oh, no reviews, just by looking at this, well, they seem like they're more of a trusted source. I'm gonna click on here, I'm gonna give them a shot. Let's let's see here, you can go here, you can call them, you can visit our website. Uh, once you click on that, it'll pop up there, boom. And then our quick link here, oh, five stars, 55 reviews. And go down, see all the information, uh, photos, summaries. Um, services we offer and uh, kind of gives you a glimpse there. So um, yeah, quick tutorial on that. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, but yeah, look forward to helping you and hope you have a great day. Thank you.